From Philo to AT&T to YouTube TV, what is the best unlimited streaming service? Plus, how do you score free TV? I'm going to show you. It's coming right up. Hi, I'm the YouTube deal guy from Matt's Daily Deals. And whether you're wondering about Hulu and then all of those add-on services like Netflix and Prime, I wanna set the record straight with an up-to-date piece on the best ways to stream all of your favorite content live. We're talking sports, news, music, TV shows, and more. And then more importantly, all those movies, what do you do? There's a lot out there. I've worked in live television most of my life and I'm a diehard YouTuber. And I really wanna make sure that I steer you toward the correct apparatus for free TV or the correct streaming service. So I'm gonna take you through all of this. This is an updated version of a video I did not too long ago where I compared YouTube TV to other services. And of course with other services like what you can score through View and the PlayStation, I'm only focusing on the best services. We're gonna go from the lowest price to the highest price. Quick reminder, if you are looking to enjoy free TV over the air with no subscription, quick two services just to mention right off the bat. Pluto TV is completely free. It is legal, it's Pluto.tv and the links are all on mattsdailydeals.com and under this video screen where you can actually enjoy programming live. It is limited, you're not going to find every major television movie and show that you've wanted, but it is kind of wonderful what you're able to enjoy for free if you do look through Pluto TV. Second, if you are looking for a great HD TV antenna for free over the air transmission, this is an awesome wafer thin television antenna that I did find on sale. If you guys have never seen me before, I actually find deals regularly. So this is not by any means a different day. Although I am going to review all the streaming services in a moment, mattsdailydeals.com. You're going to find an $80 antenna down to $39.99. If you click on the link on my website, a reminder, I do use affiliate links, which means I do benefit monetarily by a few cents for any link you use for which I thank you. You will score my favorite HDTV long range digital antenna for $40 off where you get free over the air TV from up to 85 miles away. I have unboxed and reviewed this extensively in the past, but a reminder, this includes a digital signal amplifier so you can really benefit with frustration free, easy installation. And I love this. Now you may have noticed that you can actually spend more than you would with your cable or satellite provider if you use a streaming service and then Netflix and then Hulu and then Prime. So for all the add-ons, you need to figure out on your own if you benefit more from Prime, which is Amazon's answer to Netflix or Netflix. And if you're tired of the collections on both, you can always cancel and resubscribe later. Hulu is an option I'm going to discuss in a moment. For the purposes of today's video, I'm comparing Hulu to Philo to Sling with AT&T and YouTube TV. Quick breakdown, just quick reminder, at Hulu's most basic price, $6. You go all the way up to 45 bucks if you want to enjoy the best of live television. We'll get to that in a moment. With this, you get 50 hours of DVR capacity and retention. So if you do want to record your programming and you get two concurrent streams, Philo, which is $20 a month, gives you no sports coverage and I'll go through its drawbacks and benefits in a moment, but you do get three concurrent streams, which means you can use this on three different televisions or streaming sets or mobile devices. And it is $20 a month. Philo gives you unlimited DVR capacity and retention. Sling TV at $25 a month all the way up is 50 hours plus DVR retention and you get one, two or four concurrent streams depending on what you're using. AT&T, which starts at $50 now for AT&T TV now, gives you 20 hours of DVR capacity and retention, two concurrent streams and YouTube TV at $49.99 per month gives you unlimited DVR capacity and retention for nine months and three concurrent streams. That's just the side-by-side -side breakdown. Now let's actually get in depth with each of these services. Hulu at its base $5.99, or if you use the ad-free version of $11.99, is phenomenal. But when you add live TV to this, it goes all the way up to 45. And you can see that they've got a great interface. They've been around a long time. You can also see that I really enjoy food programming. When I'm eating alone, I like to watch it. And then I just feel like I'm enjoying my meal more. But very good interface, quick, easy, responsive you get a lot of international, national, regional, and great sports programming. And at two concurrent streams for $44.99 per month, 
you are limited and for $5 more, I would go to YouTube TV, which we'll get to in a moment, but Hulu is there. And I like that you have the ability to go live or not live and spend as little as $5.99 per month. A link to Hulu located right under this video screen. At $20 per month, Philo, which has a free Fire TV stick 4K with a six month subscription, and a seven day trial, and again, all the links you need on massdailydeals.com or under this video screen, is a phenomenal new option. You get 58 channels for $20 per month. What do you not get? You don't get live sports, you don't get any local news, but you do get a lot of really good premium channels for this amount of money per month. And I should mention, Food TV and HDTV are included as part of this package, which is very appealing to a lot of people. 58 channels, $20 per month. Awesome. With three concurrent streams and jam-packed with entertainment options for a very low price, considering this is live and on demand, this is a great service you may want to consider. Sling TV, which is also available on Roku TV and Fire TV and Apple TV, is ideal for everything Philo does, but then it also gives you some great national and regional sports options, DVR capacity, as I mentioned, 50 hours. And then depending on how much money you spend, you can get a lot of channels. The one issue with Sling TV is you can overpay very easily depending upon your add-ons. Now, I was one of the first people in the country to review Sling TV years ago. I've been a subscriber for a long time. They've since adjusted their packages. So for $15 per month, you get ESPN, which is great, that's included if you are a sports fan, and then you do get HDTV, and you do get food. So you're automatically ahead of where Philo TV was for $5 less. You also have ESPN 2 and ESPN 3, but you only get 32 channels versus the 58 with Philo, which is $5 more. The Sling Blue package gives you different options if you are not a big sports fan. You'll notice ESPN is removed from this package, but you do get some additional networks. You also have the benefit of other news channels like Fox and Select Markets, NBC, CNN. You can make your pick on that. So this is an interesting option that they do give you three options under $30 and then at $25 you're adding a little bit more and you of course can go through the channels that you get. You'll notice that the $25 option you get Disney, you get some other add-ins like the Paramount Network and this could be a great way to stream live television without overpaying for it. Sling TV has the add-on options for your local TV channels, which a lot of us, we still want that local content if that's something that appeals to you and that obviously varies by market. That is not something you can do with Philo TV. You also have the free Amazon Fire TV stick or the Air TV Mini if you do take advantage and prepay two months of Sling TV. A reminder with Sling, their DVR capacity of 50 hours and the indefinite retention for those programs that you do want to store is great. And the unlimited recording from Philo with a 30-day retention is comparable. And as we go from least expensive to the more expensive options, YouTube TV gives you live TV with 70 plus channels. You get local sports and news, obviously just like all of the other ones, no cable box, no contracts, no hidden fees, of course, unless you prepay with the other ones, which gives you your free device. YouTube TV is a phenomenal service. I reviewed it right when it came out. Again, a proud subscriber of this service because I love what it does in terms of sports. I love all of the news options. I like that everything is included for this price and they've got a tremendous interface. In fact, one of the best interfaces of all of the programming. Plus you can add Showtime, AMC. I'm a, I am love Shudder. That's a, like an all thriller and horror answer to Netflix, which I subscribe to. I love this. YouTube TV for $49.99 also gives you unlimited programming recording, nine months of retention, three concurrent streams. And because it does so well with both national and regional sports, this is something you may want to consider. Yes, Food TV and HDTV are included. Those are two networks that I get requests for a lot. On the family side, the fact that you get Disney Channel and Disney Junior included, as well as the Cartoon Network, great bang for your buck for $49.99. Of course, this also includes YouTube originals, which at least at this time are kind of lacking in my opinion. And at the most expensive side of the live television streaming services available, you have AT&T TV now. Now AT&T, not one of my favorite companies in terms of customer service or really anything, just based on personal experience in the past. I was an AT&T Uverse customer quite some time ago, 
For $65 a month, they give you 45 channels, but it does include HBO. If you do the math on that, I think actually if you subscribe to HBO on its own through something like Prime and you use Philo TV, you would still be paying way less than $65 per month. But you do get some good channels in here, but I don't see any advantage of AT&T Uverse over YouTube TV, just based purely on what you pay. And by the time you're paying $80 a month, you might as well try and negotiate a better contract with your cable or satellite provider. The AT&T apps have not been as fluid in my tests as the YouTube TV app. The HBO Entertainment Plan doesn't include regional sports networks. And then the additional packages from AT&T now at 93, 110, and $124 per month. Again, it's, it's like the worst of your cable and satellite provider as part of a streaming service where the prices just seem to keep going up and you need an entire chart to figure out what programs are included. I don't even believe the entertainment package right now includes HBO and that doesn't really make sense because it's called HBO, but the cheaper package does include it. It's a very confusing mess of channels and by the time you're paying $65 per month, you should have more than two concurrent streams. YouTube TV, again, might be a little bit limited in terms of some of its packaging compared to the top packages from AT&T, but you get three concurrent streams. Also, your DVR retention with AT&T is 20 hours. With YouTube, it's unlimited. So you're paying for a lot. They have 30-day retention with AT&T, 90 days with YouTube. Not worth it, in my opinion. And hopefully my opinion will help lead you towards some other options out there. Now, I didn't cover FUBU TV because it's ideal for sports fanatics and it has a price of $54.99 and you do get 30 hours of DVR capacity and indefinite retention. It is, it is very exciting for what it does. This is a great way to enjoy live sports and TV without cable, but if you are not a huge sport fanatic and if you're just looking for the best package that balances entertainment and some DIY networks and some great movies and other forms of entertainment, then I'm gonna leave Fubo TV out of this review, but I'm happy to do a more in-depth review if there are people out there that really wanna take a look at the interface. That's a lot of information to digest, plus a deal, but hopefully this gives you a better sense of why they're a little bit different from one another. And I know I could spend 10 minutes on each of these, taking you through the interface and the programming and all of that other great stuff, which I'm happy to do, but with the downtime that many of us have, around the holiday season or just afterwards, I really wanna make sure that you are outfitted with a service that you feel is best for you. The link's for everything you need located right under this video screen and on mattsdailydeals.com. If there's services you want me to test, other things you want me to try, I've compared meal plan kits like HelloFresh versus Blue Apron, and I'm gonna be one of the first reporters that you may see at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, and I would love to take you around for the wild ride, or maybe that already happened depending on when you're watching this. So feel free to subscribe. There's great content, more deals, and I just, really wanna help you save money. If you're not yet subscribed to this channel, this is what you can do. Click on my oversized head right here, that will subscribe you if you need help turning on your notifications or leaving a comment. Click here, that last big roundup of deals I did, right over here.